after regulation time, two periods of extra time and penalty kicks, Argentina beat defending champion France in the World Cup final at Lucille Stadium in Qatar. Ultimately, it was substitute Gonzalo Montiel that scored the winning goal to end a dramatic final match of the World Cup. Argentina won the penalty shootout 4-2 after the score remained tied at 2-2 following 90 minutes of play and two periods of extra time. In what is expected to be his last World Cup, Lionel Messi scored first in the game off 23rd minute penalty. A short time later, Angel Di Maria scored, giving Argentina a 2-0 lead against France at halftime. Francis Kylian Mappé scored on the penalty kick in the second half to set the score to 2-1. One minute later, Mbappe struck again to tie the game at 2-2. The score held through the second half, sending the game into extra time. One of our sports anchors, Mudashiro Shitu, joins us to look at this World Cup. Hello, Mudashiro. Hello, Mawin. Well, Messi leads. Uh, yeah, how are you? I'm fine. Well, Messi has led Argentina to the World Cup title. What does this win mean to Messi and his teammates? It's an interesting one for Messi after um, since 1986 when um, Diego Maradona inspire them to win the World Cup. Messi has done this again, and um, I beat it um, a very dramatic um, World Cup. The wait for the World Cup glue is finally over. After Argentina defeats them um, first in a dramatic penalty shootout, it was a final for the ages with uh, momentum swinging both ways throughout a uh, 120 minutes. Um, as, like you said, Gonzalo's scored the winning penalty after the game finished them um, 3 3. But let's look beyond this. It means so much to Messi and uh, means so much to fans. And um, a lot of people have said that um, this really means that um, we can now say Messi um, is the greatest um, player of all time. But beyond that, it didn't come on a platter of gold. We saw um, how it ended 3 3, um, 2 2 in the first um, regulation time, um, and 3 3 after. Um, extra time. And um, it's been interesting to, to know that um, this will probably go in a long way in the art of Messi. And this is finally um, to the career that um, people have said that today was a Messi day um, after winning seven Ballon d'Ors, 38 trophies, playing over 1,000 games in his career. The World Cup was the only title missing for Messi's collection. And I think this is a befitting um, World Cup for him. And we guys don't forget that um, he almost missed out from today. So I think it's interesting for Messi and the rest of um, the world. Yeah, Muda, would you say that the penalty awarded to Argentina was deserved? Yeah, um, I think it's deserved because, you know, the referee's um, decision is a final decision and we have to hold on to that. It's not going to make any point if we want to go against the referee who has um, the final say on that. So it's all deserved. It's um, something that um, um, a lot of people is agreeable. But when you look at the second look at the penalty and how it occurred, you say it is well deserved. And I think even if some think it wasn't well deserved, uh, it, 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 is, um, it has no final say in the game. So, w would you say that this World Cup trophy uh, for Messi settles the debate between who is the greatest player between uh, Messi and Ronaldo? I, I, I agree, Boo. Uh, let, let's not forget that um, who is the greatest of all time between these two sides is coming from the fans. It is not something official. It is coming from journalists. It's coming from fans. It's coming from uh, people that love both players. It is not FIFA looking for who is the greatest of all time. It is not uh, um, anything official. It's something that is just coming from fans and um, both uh, uh, um, lovers of the two teams. So who is yeah, the greatest so of all time is not an official. Say. Who is the greatest of all time is not an official title. It is not a, a title given for, by FIFA. It is not a title given by any football stakeholders. It is just a title that um, fans across the globe is trying to give their favorite. So if Messi wins this, 
does not make him the greatest of all time, does not make him arguably better than um, Ronaldo, because there are other better players in this World Cup that has not won the World Cup. Let's look, for example, Croatia Modric. He hasn't won the World Cup, but he has won. Um, he, they, they, they came third year. They were finalists last year. So you cannot say because you, you won the World Cup, you are greater than every other player in the history of um, of um, of the football. So it is not an official title. Goats, greatest of all time, is not an official title. It's just a title coined by we journalists, coined by broadcasters, coined by fans. So it is an argue, um, argument that will continue for a very long time. Yeah, indeed, it will continue. But before I let you go, Mudashiro, well, comparing other World Cup competitions, would you say that this World Cup uh, will be the greatest in terms of logistics, the game on the field of play, and the officiating? Yeah, um, I think um, we've been here many World Cups before now that is the greatest World Cup tournament so far. And in um, um, Infatino um, said that um, two days ago in a press conference, at the FIFA Council that this is the greatest um, World Cup so far. And he gave his reasons why it is greatest of all time. He looked at um, attendance, he looked at um, the surprises. So, but nevertheless, we've also seen some World Cups that um, can, can be adjourned and believed to be the greatest of all, the greatest World Cup. So I would think that um, we start saying the greatest so far, we say it is one. Let's just, I, I, I prefer we should coin that word. Um, the Qatar 2022 is one of the greatest World Cup hosted. USA 94 um, was one World Cup that we we'll never, never forget in terms of hosting, in terms of attendance, in terms of um, many other things. So we can say Qatar 2022 um, is one of the greatest World Cup ever hosted because they say it has its own. Um, his own um, side effect, because we have issues of human rights, we have issues of suppressing freedom, we have issues of the LBGT, so we have other issues of um, you knowing some certain clothes, how you dress, you can't drink, you can't smoke. Um, so that's for Qatar 2022. So if, even we want to call it the greatest World Cup ever hosted, he still has his own um, um, I don't want to use the word negative side, but it says they won't side that some um, stakeholders we want to believe that it suppresses human uh, freedom of expression. So I would just want to hold on to the fact that it is one of the greatest World Cup ever hosted, not the greatest, oh. because I can remember USA 94 and some other tournaments that have been hosted. All right, thank you, Mudashir. Thank you so much for your thank time. You. Mudashiro Shitu, uh, one of our sports uh, correspondents there. Hello, hope you enjoyed the news. Please do subscribe to our YouTube channel and don't forget to hit the notification button so you get notified about fresh news updates.